Well, we have a fall preview these next couple of days as an unusually chilly air mass moves in for today and tomorrow. It's going to feel more like late September. So rainfall, this last system, uh, mostly across north central Minnesota, that's where we had a half inch to an inch of rain. Uh, most metro amounts were pretty light, a uh, few tenths of an inch in some of the northern suburbs, but MSP officially only a trace of rainfall. So uh, we've got this upper level low, a lot more like a fall-like type system. It's cold air aloft, and that's creating this comma-shaped cloud, and it's going to descend upon the state. It's creating a lot of wind, both at the surface, but also aloft, because you've got basically a late September air mass, but with early August sunshine. It's still a little bit of moisture. The dew points are much more comfortable, but it's all relative. So that's what's going to create these afternoon clouds uh, today and tomorrow, and even some spotty showers, especially for the northern half of the state today and tomorrow. So here's the clouds filling in. It's just basic instability. Cold air aloft, you heat up the ground, sunny in the morning. Clouds fill in in both the uh, afternoons, and then those will diminish in the overnight hours, leading to some pretty chilly uh, overnights too. But some sprinkles, some showers for the northeastern Minnesota primarily today. Most of the staying north of I-94 might see one or two stray sprinkles in the Twin Cities, but primarily we're talking northeastern Minnesota into western Wisconsin, uh, these hit and miss sprinkles. They are going to be brief because winds aloft are moving at about 50, 60 miles an hour unlike much of the summer when it's been slower. Only upper 60s to around 70 today, low to mid 60s only in northern Minnesota. These temperatures are 10 to 20 degrees colder than average. Uh, normal highs in the low 80s here in southern Minnesota, low to mid 70s in the northern part of the state. So uh, yeah, this is a little unusual for this early in August. This is something you'd expect maybe late August, even so. These are late September average temperatures. Down in the 50s and 40s overnight tonight and tomorrow might even be a degree or two cooler. Uh, upper 60s in the Twin Cities, would, that would be the coolest day since June 20th. And then only 50s in northern Minnesota for highs tomorrow. Uh, and then tomorrow night, probably a little cooler, widespread 40s everywhere outside of the Twin Cities and some of the river valleys. We'll probably hang on to low to mid 50s here, but with it, of course, we've got some wind too, northwest winds blowing uh, 10 to 20, gusting even higher, and especially in western Minnesota, even a little bit windier here the next couple of days. Those winds should diminish heading into the weekend. Weekend actually looks nice, still cooler than normal, but a little warmer, dry, and should have a fair amount of sun. But over the next seven days, we're going to see this blue blob. These are temperatures that are below normal for the whole central part of the continent, uh, most notably in the Dakotas. But across Minnesota, we're talking uh, four to eight degrees below average, averaged out over the seven days. Uh, these next couple days, 10 to 20 degrees below the average. But that also means it's keeping most of the active weather away because there's not a lot of moisture in that cool air. So forecast seven-day rainfall totals. Pretty sad, under a quarter inch of uh, rainfall over the next seven days statewide. So nice dry break. We could use that uh, pretty saturated soil still. So around 70 today, breezy tomorrow, uh, even a little cooler, 68 only for the high. Again, coolest day since June 20th. Ironically, it was the summer solstice. But remember, June was a slightly cooler than normal month. Still windy tomorrow. Nice looking weekend, as I mentioned, low to mid 70s, sunny mornings, and then partly cloudy afternoons. We'll still see, see some of that lingering instability where there'll be those fair weather cumulus clouds popping up, but not quite as thick of a deck of afternoon clouds as what we'll see today and tomorrow. And then gradually getting warmer. I think we'll finally hit 80 by Wednesday next week. Uh, that's closer to normal by that point. And again, mostly dry. Looks like the next best chance of rain will come Thursday. Uh, right now, models kind of mixed on if we see any spotty showers Tuesday or Wednesday.